Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rechak Wadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, you know, just the Spirit is on me, all right, to do a, a video, okay, and, uh, you know, through the Spirit, all right, we'll just go whatever the whatever precepts the uh, uh, the Spirit hands me, all right, but for now, all right, I just wanted to, you know what I mean, go on this, the you know, RT News, which... You know, I go in here a lot because there's always uh, there's always news to report. There's always information to bring out, you know, constantly. All right. But, um, you know, uh, addressing this whole, you know, I mean, back once again with France. All right. And what's going on there in Paris. OK, but not only that, but just scrolling through on here, you see all these different things that are going on around the world. All right. And you can see that it's 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 all leading. All right. To an ultimate chaotic environment. OK. To where things things around the world are not looking good, all right? They're not looking good at all, okay? But this is all prophesied in the scriptures. See, us being prophets, us being seers, all right, being able to see, all right, we know where this is leading ultimately, okay? And uh, just got a couple of precepts. Um, Ezekiel 12, 27, and let's get... Easy kill 33, 33. Because, see, there's going to come a time when all these warnings and these videos that we do is going to stop, you know, and at that point is when people are going to seek it the most. Okay, so this is Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 27. Because looking at all this, us knowing the end game and knowing what's 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 about to happen, all right, we know this right here is not going to work out, okay, because here it says uh, Macron uh, announces state of economic emergency in France. Promises small salary increases, but well, look, look right here. It says French opposition rejects Macron's concessions to yellow um, vests. Some demand citizen revolution. See, so they're not trying to hear it. <laughs> they're not trying to hear it because the spirit that's out. Which let me start off with that precept. The spirit that's out right now is not a spirit of peace. All right. Um, boy, they they flowing it now. Uh, I believe it's Ecclesiastes, third chapter. And I'll hold um, let's see, uh, peace. Might be in Jeremiah. Let's give me one second. I think it's this one right here. Jeremiah 28 and, oh, 28 and 8, okay. So, um, all right, let's just go through this. So, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season and to a t and a time to every purpose under the heaven, okay? So, like like the scriptures say, man, you see there's, there's been times of peace, there's been times of war, and right now we're in the time of judgment, okay? The time of prophecy, all right? And this is going to be the end-all, be-all, all right? The climax of the story, Okay? And that's, that's why you can see things getting worse and worse geopolitically, not only in America, but all around the world. All right. And as prophets, that's what we've been, we're, we're, we've, we've been ordained to do, to prophesy, to give the warning. OK, so it says um, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up that which is planted. All right. Um, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up. See, so it's always uh, a time to kill. That comes first, then a time to heal, then a time to break down, a time to build up. And right now, we're in the time of breaking down Esau's society, okay? Which, I got a quick precept on that, and I know I'm pulling a lot of precepts, but, you know, we just go with the spirit. Um, all right, Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, because what we're doing right now, we're really in warfare. Okay, we're in we're at we're at war right now. All right. It says, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations. See, like we read here, um, a time to break down, and we're breaking down the strongholds, which is gonna go into that. Okay, we're breaking down the strongholds of of this uh um of this society, okay? The the uh, uh, uh the um the um the wicked the wicked uh, uh vibration, the chains that are on our people's minds, we're breaking that down. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. 
Okay, so it says, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of the Most High. And a perfect example of that, <laughs> man, I know I'm all over the place, but just bear with me. A perfect example of that is um, Isaiah 14, verse 12. Okay, so keeping in mind, it says, um, uh, 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 every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of the Most High. Okay, now when you read Isaiah 14, verse 12, all right, get into the point. This is talking about Esau. It says, uh, verse 13, For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into the heaven, or into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Check this. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. See? So what we're doing right now, all right, is we're casting down the imaginations, which when you read Micah 2 and 1, it tells you how uh, Esau has, has uh, uh, um, basically they, they devise iniquity and work it upon their bets. Okay, or they devise something along those lines, all right? So it says, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High. And what we're doing right now is, 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 is prophesying, all right, bringing the Lord's word out so that it can come to pass. All right. And that's why we, we remain spiritual, because that's that's what's going to break down this this uh, uh, this this devil society and bringing captive and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. See. And so here, right here, Esau exalted himself, uh, 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 trying to be like the most high. What? He's going to be brought down. OK. Like it says here in, in verse 12, how art thou fallen from heaven? Heaven being that that state of rulership, which Esau is in right now. All right, oh Lucifer, all right, which really Lucifer just means light bearer, okay, like the Illuminati, which is what they call themselves, all right, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations, see, so they, 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 they've been cut down to the ground, man, and that's prophecy, they're going to fall, they're, they're, their kingdom, their rulership, their, their governments, all of that is going to fall, okay, but right now, our job is to prophesy, so it can come to pass, okay, so going back to Ecclesiastes, um, uh, just to get to the point, there it is, verse 8, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace, now let's go back here, all right, when you see all these, all these news, news articles and all these things going around the world, does this look like love or does this look like war, all right, you have here, you have economic emergency, all right, you have sanctions being slapped on North Korea's officials, okay, you have uh, Poland wanting to set up U.S. military base right next to Russia, all right, that's all wars and rumors of wars. Okay, you have U.S. doing drills. You have uh, uh, look at this, yellow vest protester tipped out of wheelchair onto ground by police. Okay, so all these different, all these different articles and all these different things going on around the world, it's it's a time of what? It's a time of war, not a time of peace. The peace will come after. All right, but right now is a time of war because, like the scriptures say in Second Esdras. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And right now, we're nearing the end of Esau's society, which is why you see these things going on. And guess what? They're going to intensify more and more and more, okay? And that's why he's going he's gonna to ultimately just destroy it all, all right? He's going to bring that hell and that chaos so he can try to uh, bring order, a new world order, with the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, all right? And try to enslave humanity, okay? But according to the scriptures, that's not what's going to happen. OK, so look, looking at all these things coming to pass, man, now is not a time to be distracted or a time to be worrying about unnecessary things, man. Now is the time to stay focused. All right. And do what what prophets do. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And when you read it, the prophets were prophesying against the 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 kingdoms in which captivity they were in, all right? And that's what we're doing right now. Here it is. We're in America, a.k.a. the daughter of Babylon, but we're prophesying against it. We're prophesying the downfall of this of this country. We're prophesying of war, which we, we prophesied World War III is going to come, of evil, Jacob's trouble, the martial law, the hell, and of pestilence, okay? It says, the prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. See, so you have all these other groups out here saying all this madness, all right, 
but the Lord is going to be, he's going to let it be known who are his chosen. All right. Because who are his true prophets? You're going to know Ezekiel 33 and 33. And when this cometh to pass, this meaning the, the prophecies, the vision, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. See, you got a lot of people that want to play with this word. They want to just join in. You know what I mean? Like the, it's the new flow. They want to join in and then say whatever they want. But we're serious about this thing. Okay. And when, when our words come to pass, okay, because these are the words of Yahweh by Shem El Shai, they're going to understand that we are the true men of the Lord. And all these little people, all these little kids playing games out here, man, the Lord is going to destroy them. And when that hell starts coming and that judgment and death starts hitting, a lot of people are going to be scared, man. They're going to be scared out of their minds, seeking the men of the Lord, the true men of the Lord. You're going to have people who are talking all this ish and all that. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna humble down real quick. Only thing is, it's going to be too late. All right? It's going to be too late for a lot of you, man. Those of you who like to play games, the Lord is not playing games. All right? Why are you out here worrying about uh, 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 trying to, trying to quote-unquote, debunk elders and, and, and so on and so forth when, as a prophet, you're supposed to be prophesying of, 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 of these things going on around the, around the world? All right? Did not the Lord say... Um, Uh, Ezekiel 3 verse 17, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. See, we're supposed to give the nation of Israel warning from the Lord because the hell that's about to break loose. The Lord is breaking it. It's the wrath. It's the indignation of the heavenly father. Okay. Um, what is Isaiah 13 and 6? All right. It says, how ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. See? And that's why the Lord said we, we got to give them warning from him so they might repent and they won't have to taste of that judgment. But we know ultimately only the elect are going to do that. Okay? But going here, it says what? It's 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 destruction from the Most High, from the Almighty. Okay? And so that's what we're supposed to be doing. We haven't been set up to, 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 to uh, of course, it says mark the men that caused, you know, the, the division and division and so on and so forth. All right, but our main focus is to what prophesy is truth. The real dangers, all right, is 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 the, these things, the judgment that's coming, man. Okay, and I'm gonna read it here in in Isaiah, but that's the real danger that's coming. Okay, and that's what we have to warn our people of. Our job is to prophesy, man, bring out the edification, you know, and edify. That's what the Lord is looking for, man. The Lord is looking for obedient men who are who are who work through the Spirit and and do the works that are pleasing unto Him. All right. Not people who who wanna who wanna make a name for themselves and wanna be known and wanna be this this and that. It's not about us, man. Just take a back seat and do what's pleasing to the Lord. In due time, you'll get your recognition. All right, but seeking vain glory is not gonna do anything for you. Okay, so I I believe I had. Yeah, Ezekiel chapter twelve verse twenty seven, and I ended with with uh, Isaiah. Okay, so it says, "Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say the vision that he seeth is for many days to come." And he prophesieth of the times that are far off. Why do they say that? Because they've been blinded. See, throughout the years, you've had different groups and different people stand up and say so on and so forth. But they didn't have the 100% truth. Okay? And Israel put their hope in them. All right? Though the scriptures tell you that, um, I believe it's 1 Corinthians 4 and 9. Ah, for I think that the Most High has set forth us, the apostles, last. See? Last, as it were appointed to death. Because right after, right after the prophets, that's when the destruction comes. Okay? For we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. All right? We were set forth last to bring the truth. And, and because we came last, what, what do we hear? We hear, oh, my grandmother said that. What you guys are saying, they've been saying it for years and years and years. But they don't understand that we are the prophets. What what we say now is going to come to pass. It's not going to be 50 years from now somebody else saying something. And No, no, no. It's going to come to pass. And we see it. But they don't see it because they've been blinded. When we see this, we see this turning into something worse. We see this turning into something worse. We see this turning into something worse. Okay? We see this turning into something worse. All right? Because we know what ultimately is leading to. We know where all the routes are going to end up. So when we tell you what's coming, we know it's about to happen. We're warning you. Okay? That is our job. But, hey, some are going to take heed, some are not. That's that's between you and your how about Shemel Shai. All right? So it says, the vision that he seeth is for many days to come, 
and he prophesieth of the times that are far off. The RFID microchip, the mark of the beast, is going to be made mandatory very soon. Oh, nah, that's going to be in the future sometime. I heard that from my grandmother. Martial law is coming. Oh, nah, 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 anytime soon. Maybe, maybe 90 years from now. You know? It says, Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power, they shall none of my words be prolonged any more. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, save, save Yahweh power. Okay? And that's what the Lord said, man. That's what it is. All right? So this is Isaiah chapter 13, verse, uh, I'll, I'll go to verse 7. It says, Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. So you're not going to have power. You're not going to be able to, you're going you're gonna to be in fear. Okay, people who right now in their comfort zone, they like to talk all this ish. Oh, I, I bench press this much. You know what I'm saying? I like press this. I got triceps on my triceps. You know what I mean? And biceps on, on my biceps. You know, so I could do this, this, and that. Listen, man, when all hell breaks loose, man, all right, all hands are going to be faint. If you're not a man of the Lord and the Lord doesn't put his spirit on you, you're going to become a little girl, man. And every man's heart shall melt. See, so your your mind thinking that you're this and you're that and, and you're 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 a uh, mission impossible and all this. Listen, man, you 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 gonna lose all hope. Okay, it's gonna be beyond your control, beyond anything you've ever seen. It says, and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. See, and and when you look at these Edomites. All right. Whenever they get shocked or they get they, they get scared or anything like that, what the blood rushes to their head, and being that they have no pigmentation, you see it how their face turns red. All right. That's why it says their faces shall be as flames. Okay. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth, like a woman when she's when she's going through the, her labor pains and she's about to give birth, you know, and she's going through all that pain and screaming. That's that's what it's, it's compared to. So it says, behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel. Both with wrath and fierce anger. Fierce anger. Not just regular. Fierce anger, man. To lay the land desolate. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. How is he going to lay the land desolate by those nuclear missiles? They're going to level America. And other parts of, 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 of the world. But America is going to be leveled. It's going to be done. Alright. Done away with completely. Burnt up and destroyed. Alright. Along with the sinners too. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light, and the sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. Yeah, because when all those missiles are shot up into the air, okay, it's going to be dark. That's why the scriptures say the day of the Lord is, is darkness and not light. You're going to have chariots covering the skies. You're going to have missiles, so many of them raining down. What is it, 200, 200 million or, you know, uh, 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 I forget the number, all right, but it's going to be a whole lot of missiles raining down here. All right. And it's going to be dark and destruction. I will. It says, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. And we're waiting for this, man. We are waiting for this because we're sick and tired of Israel disrespecting our father, disrespecting our big brother, Yahweh Shai, disrespecting us. And, and we're, the, we're just waiting for the Lord to, to set things straight. Okay. And Lord, Lord willing, he has mercy on us, you know, because at one point we were like this, you know, and that's why we, we do our best to remain humble and just do the works of the Lord. All right. So it says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. All right. More precious than fine gold. Who? A man of the Lord. Not just any regular man, but a man of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, a faithful servant to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Those who endure chastisement as sons. Okay. Who, those who were acceptable men, all right, who were tried in the furnace of adversity, and the Lord proved them to be acceptable men. Those are going to be more precious than fine gold. Therefore, I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place, all right, because when the missiles hit, the earth is going to be shaken to and fro, all right. It says, in the wrath of Yahweh of hosts, in the day of his fierce anger, all right. The Lord is pissed, man, and, and the world is going to see it. And it shall be as, a, as the chase roll. And as the sheep that no man taketh up, all right. Because when you when you when you when you look at like a roe or or like a deer, for example, all right. The minute they hear a little a little uh, a little tree branch break or something, they pick their heads up real quick and they're gone, all right. They they running left, right, up in the air everywhere, you know. That's what it's gonna be like, man. When all hell's breaking loose, nobody's is stopping to think about shit, man. They they running, they gone, they scattering like roaches, okay. You gonna have people crying, losing hope. 
It says, and they shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. All right. But Jake, you Israelites, where are you going to go? <laughs> where are you going to go? That's why it's called Jacob's trouble, man. It says, everyone that is found shall be thrust through. And that's why a lot of people are going to be in hiding, man. Because them, them troops, they're going to be, they're going to be set to kill. All right. And the Lord, the Lord is going to protect his man. He's going to, he's going to keep us somewhere where, you know, we're going to be safe and protected. And if we are found, He's going to protect us, whether it's by angels or chariots or spiritual power, whatever it may be. It says, and every one that is joined onto them shall fall by the sword. So you want, you want, you want to be out here, you know what I mean, uh, 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 equally uh, uh, yoked, all right, with, with uh, 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 wicked and, 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 and evil men, all right, or people in the world. Guess what? When they get caught, you get caught up with them, okay? And you're going to get that judgment too. It says, their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. And that's when people are going to realize this ain't a joke. When your wife is raped in front of you, when your child is killed right in front of you, and you've seen that there's no mercy and there's no hope, that's when you're going to realize. That's when you, your pride is going to drop to the bottom and you're going to humble down. Okay? It says, Behold, I will stir up the meads against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Pursuant to... um. Pursuant to uh, Proverbs 11 and I believe 4, okay, about um, uh, uh, riches profit not in the day of wrath, all right, roughly paraphrasing, okay, so your money's not going to do anything for you. I'm on my grind. It's all about the, the money. I'm trying to secure the bag. Well, let, listen, man, you're going to be trying to secure your life in that day, and you can't pay for it then. <laughs> the Lord ain't accepting Cash App or, 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 or uh, Western Union and, and, and all that money orders. No, the Lord, the Lord don't care about that, man, all right? The Lord, the Lord wants a uh, faith. He wants men who who who've been who've been riding a die for him. That's the currency the Lord accepts. Okay. It says, uh, their bowls shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of their of the womb, their eyes shall not spare children. Yeah, so cause when them missiles launch, man, it ain't the missiles ain't 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 uh, uh discriminating, all right, to the point, oh, oh no, that's a little child. Hold up, weave and let me hit somebody else. No, 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 no. It lands, whoever it hits, it hits. Okay, no pity anywhere, man. And that's what's coming to this place. Okay, so when we see these articles and we bring out these videos and we edify, man, you you, you better take heed to it. Okay, you better take heed to it, man, because it's like we said, man, it's only going to get worse and worse and worse. And the famine of the word is going to come when, when you seek the word, all right, because you are playing games and you can't find it, you're going to see that it's not a joke, man. Okay, so Lord willing, this video is edifying to the elect. Alright, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Until next time, Shalom.